The Awash River in Ethiopia is an essential lifeline for millions of people. Small farmers, large plantations, villages downstream, and villages upstream. With the water user's growth, the water's value becomes bigger. No water means no harvest, poverty, and hopelessness for millions. The water system in the Awash Basin, consisting of a main river with many tributaries, lakes, and reservoirs, is influenced by many factors. The growing number of water users creates scarcity and erosion, and deforestation, flooding, and drought also threaten the ecosystem of the Awash River. In the Awash Basin, the many administrative boundaries and numerous governmental institutions make the water management fragmented. This fragmentation hinders an effective approach to overcome the upstream and downstream conflicting interests. Problems and in water use upstream of the river influence the situation downstream. Solving downstream problems often requires upstream interventions. So, we have one river and many water users. The growing industry upstream. Companies use much water and discharge many unfiltered, polluted water back into the river. This causes intense pollution. The farmers, they need water for their crops. The large plantations, in particular, use enormous amounts of water for their land. This creates scarcity for the farmers downstream. The many people downstream, they want clean water for their daily use, but have seen the water flowing their way dwindle in recent years. It is Word and Deed's mission to give these people a voice and the Ethiopian governments, consisting of autonomous regional governments downstream and upstream, and a federal government in Addis Ababa, which plays a regulatory role. All these parties need good cooperation to implement water management according to this catchment approach. The big question, how can Ethiopian governments jointly strengthen the cooperation and find answers to the challenges everyone is facing? The Dutch water authorities and Voort and Dat have worked on good water governance in Ethiopia for over 10 years. Through the Blue Deal and the FDW, these parties have supported the Ethiopian governments in drawing up a water agreement. With this agreement, a coordinated and formalized approach to solve the problems surrounding the Awash are being worked on for and by all parties upstream and downstream. This requires a mindset that goes beyond institutional and organizational interests and thinks and acts from the added value of all parties together. Responsibilities are taken up together to arrive at a joint solution. So now we are uh, in, a, in a good phase, even if uh, there are a lot of problems, but still we acknowledge that you know, cooperation is a must. It's not uh, no mandatory, it's a must. In 2021, the Ethiopian governments signed the water agreement. The governance structure has been further established during a work visit to the Netherlands. Now we go for implementation. We have to share the water fairly and uh, we have to work on how we are going to share the water fairly and we have to work on to remove the pollutants or to protect the river from pollution. So this couldn't be alone, you know, we can't work we, the single region couldn't be, uh, you know, responsible or we can't work on uh, this alone. So we need the cooperation from uh, the provinces or the regions that are sharing the water and from the federal government. So how can Ethiopian governments jointly find a solution for the enormous problems around the Awash River? The answer is together. Together stronger. Stronger together.